Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your Game of the Masterbox, and today I am going to be doing a FIFA 11 commentary. It's my first ever. I'm making my debut uh, to the FIFA community. I've been wanting to make a FIFA video for ages because I love this game so much. And um, even though I don't follow soccer necessarily all too well, and yes, I call it soccer, but don't get too angry. Um, okay, I've already made a terrible start. My bad. Um, no, but I play FIFA 11 so much. I absolutely f love this game. Top three games, which I love to play when I get home from school or work or whatever, or out with friends. And, yeah, I can't believe it's taken me this long to make a video. So, here you go, guys. It's my first ever FIFA 11 commentary. And, of course, because we're doing FIFA 11, we got to talk about Ultimate Team. Now, I haven't been playing Ultimate Team for too long, and I can immediately see that there are a couple of things wrong with Ultimate Team. Now, probably one of the biggest and most important things that is wrong with this uh, game mode or this game type or with Ultimate Team are the players' photos. Now, don't get me wrong. 95% of all the player photos in the game are perfectly fine. But there's that 5% of photos which just look weird or just don't represent the player properly, as you will find out. We're now going to kick it off with Rinaldinho. Why in God's name is he wearing glasses? Rina and also Rinaldinho, what sort of a name is that? He sounds like Ronaldo's long lost nerdy cousin, especially with the help of the glasses. But either way, I'm just going to end it with, if this guy does not have 99 vision, well that is just EA laying down some bullshit. And moving on. Julio Sergio. Wow, that is a trough face if I've ever seen one. It's good to know, it's good for him. Someone managed to take a photo of him in the most happiest moment of his life. I mean, just look at that smile. That's like a I just lost my virginity smile. So we got ba Barquet. Barquet. And this guy, Barquet. How do I say this? Ba Bake. Bake? Bake. Bake. Okay, Bake. This guy, no seriously, this guy actually does look like a monkey just through his lip expressions. I'm, I saw a movie the other day, and I'm really confident that this guy was in it. He looks really, really familiar to one of the characters from Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I mean, I mean it's just there. It's, he's just there. I can tell. But guys, I know you may be thinking I'm being a bit of an asshole by having a go at this guy, but it was either the monkey jokes or the insert penis here jokes. Moving on, and oh my god, this guy looks 100. This guy actually makes my grandpa look like my age. Honestly, he is 100. How desperate are Aston Villa for a good goalkeeper that they actually need to hire or keep a 100-year-old in goals? I can guarantee you, this guy's saggy balls are probably what's stopping the ball from going into the net. Husklep. Whatever. Holy sh! I immediately take back my comment about Julio Sergio's troll face. That is a troll face if I have ever seen one. We're now going to Manninger, I think his name is. He plays for Juventus, and he also has two chins. Just something that we should point out. No, seriously, does that guy have two chins? That is some creepy shit. Moving on. Henderson put ball in net? I mean, what is going through this guy? This guy looks like an English ogre. Like most of them. Oh, that's mean. Just having a go. No, he's not He's not like an English ogre. He's probably just trying to impersonate this guy. Oh my god, now he's not putting on a face. Now, I get it. He's like a professional athlete, thus he must have a good body, but I don't get why some people find this guy attractive. Just look at that guy's face. God, ah, oh, dude, I can barely stare at it because it's just, god damn it. I'm sure he's a great bloke. He must have a great personality. And when you have a face like that, the least you could say is that at least he has his self-confidence. Yep, Ozil, you keep telling yourself that, mate. Okay, finally, moving on to Ochoa. He is a Mexican goalkeeper, and I don't think I've ever seen such an expressionless face in my life. I mean, he looks like... He looks like he's thinking about something. I wonder... I wonder what it is. Hmm. I am guessing a delicious hamburger. Stealing high jab sets, jokes for the win, yes! And finally, moving on, we are going to do the very last player, which is, this is probably the weirdest and just most wrong representation of a player in the photograph I think I've ever seen. His name is Balotelli, yes. No, 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 not to be confused with Tottenham's new signing, Grabatelli. This is Balotelli. I mean, now look at this guy's photo. There is nothing wrong with that photo at all. And that's the problem. You cannot tell from the photo just how much of an asshole this guy is in real life. I mean, just look at his face. Does that look like the face of someone who's going to crack the shit when he can unsuccessfully get a bib on? Or when your English Premier League team can't even beat LA Galaxy? Now that photo just represents 
just misrepresents him completely, honestly. In FIFA 12, EA, please sort this out. You, you gotta replace his photo, something a lot more suiting, something like this maybe, or maybe just even that. I mean, that is just perfect, that's fine, that represents him, just have that for like the consecutive next 10 years. Oh, Jesus. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the FIFA 11 commentary. Thanks for watching it. I'll be coming out with a lot more soon. Hopefully, I can do them on a weekly basis like AFL Live Mondays, which if you are interested in seeing, there is a link to it in the description below. Check it out. But either way, that's uh, enough shameless plugs. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this video because I work really hard. I go out of my way to um, make these videos. I enjoy doing them, and of course... Pretty recently, I went over a thousand subs, so thank you so much to those, um, to all thousand subs, by the way. And just because I'm at a thousand subs doesn't mean I want to stop there. Let's just keep them going. All right, thanks, guys. I'm the Masterbox, and I'll catch you next time.